Compacts alpha in Excel measures the internal consistency of items and score consistency. The alpha is calculated to determine the reliability of multiple choice question exam paper using ANOVA table. Here in this data sheet in Excel, this data is a dichotomous data taken from an exam result for 10 students answering 15 multiple choice questions. And the score for each question is reported as 0 or 1. 0 mean, means wrong. Answer 1 means correct answer. So these data are dichotomous, binary, as there is only two options, correct or wrong answer. And to determine whether the exam paper is reliable, we can calculate the Cronbach's alpha. And to calculate the Cronbach, Cronbach's alpha, click on data. And if you don't have the icon for the data, uh, you can generate that through the options in the file and then select the data analysis icon. Click on data analysis. A window will appear and we are going to use the analysis tool of ANOVA. ANOVA two factor without replication. And if I click on OK, another window will appear and we're going to select the input range. And to select the input range, I'm going to highlight the range of the data I want to calculate the ANOVA for it. So uh, we're going to leave the alpha as 0.05. And then I'm going to generate the output in a cell as highlighted here, selecting this. And then if I click on OK, uh, two tables are generated in Excel. The first table shows the count, the sum, the average, and the variance for row 1 to 10 and column 1 to column number 15. We are interested in the second table, which is the ANOVA table. And the two important figures we are interested in is this figure, the means square for the rows and the means and the errors. And if I'm going just to highlight these in red. To calculate the Cronbach's alpha, use the following way. In this cell, I'm going to type alpha and then next to it, I'm going to insert equal sign and then number one minus the error divided by the rows, the mean square, the mean square for error divided by rows and then hitting the enter key. Uh, Cronbach's alpha of 0.91 is generated. This figure indicate that the test or the exam paper is 91% reliable. So this table here, small tables, shows the range for the Cronbach's alpha and the reliability. Any value for the alpha greater or equal to or greater than 0.9, then the reliability is excellent. A value of 0.8 to 0.89 indicates a good reliability. A value of 0.7 to 0.79 is acceptable reliability. And uh, Cronbach's alpha a value of 0.6 to 0.69 uh, indicates questionable reliability and the value of 0.5 to 
five nine is uh, considered to be a poor reliability and anything with a value of uh, uh, less than 0.5 for alpha is considered to be an unacceptable exam or test i.e. unreliable so this is the way one of the way to calculate the Chromebox alpha and determine the reliability of an exam paper sorting it out either as extremely reliable and excellent uh, reliability or an unacceptable unreliable exam